Now that we've completed the AFAST exam, we'll move on to the abdominal fluid score. The abdominal fluid score was created to make more sense of what a positive scan actually meant. By doing so, we can semi-quantitate the amount of bleeding, which is most common in traumatized dogs. However, this abdominal fluid score could be applied to any effusive conditions of the abdomen. It is very simply done by assigning zero for negative in any of the four AFAS views, and then for any positive view, a score of one is assessed with a maximum score of four. This is a simple, easy to remember scoring system. And lateral recumbency in dogs serves as a depth gauge, as we'll see in the next slide. So again, you don't need a chart or a book or to have something handy to remember what this fluid scoring system is. It's a zero to four score, and as you can see in this cartoon, the dogs in lateral recumbency, as they start to fill up with fluid, especially in traumatized dogs where this would be blood, that the more blood that accumulates in their abdomen, the higher score that they will have. As you look through here, a score of one, an AFS of one, would mean that the dog is positive at any of the four sites. Shown here is a dog that's positive at the DH site. Moving to the right, you can see an AFS of two, where the dog is positive at any two AFAST views. Shown here is the DH view being positive and the systocolic view being positive. It is important to know that these are the two most commonly positive sites in low scoring dogs. And in training veterinarians to perform AFAST, the nuances of these two sites are very important for the sonographer to understand. Moving down to the lower left corner is a dog with an AFS score of three. Again, these would be positive at any three sites, but as dogs become more and more positive, their positive sites will become more gravity dependent. And then finally, in the bottom right corner, this is a dog with a maximum score. And if he was hit by a car, it would be a belly full of blood, so to speak, with a score of four. Of note, too, with the fluid scoring system is dogs with scores of one and two are considered small bleeders, and dogs with three and four are considered big bleeders. This is very helpful in being able to anticipate the degree of anemia because dogs that score three and four are predictably going to become anemic and about 25% of those dogs are going to become severely anemic, requiring a blood transfusion. In conclusion, we hope that we've convinced you that AFAST is a beyond trauma technique to be used and that can be readily mastered by non-radiologist veterinarians. These abbreviated ultrasound exams help answer important clinical questions to help positively affect patient outcome. This has been well shown in human patients by using these abbreviated ultrasound exams. The target organ approach gives an everyday platform to improve your basic ultrasound skills with the objective of recognizing free fluid rather than actual lesions and pathology within organs. Because as we've stated before, free fluid reflects either the presence of injury or other conditions within the abdomen. Furthermore, goal-directed templates give value and meaning to AFAST exams, and they also discipline the sonographer to make sure that they scrutinize each of the four views. In humans, this is standard of care and a first-line screening test, and it should also be made that in veterinary medicine. As we like to say, FAST saves lives because it positively can affect outcome and help you detect potentially life-threatening conditions or complications that would be otherwise occult or not recognized by physical exam and more traditional means of patient screening. Thank you for watching. To learn the AFAST exam from the experts with live hands-on experience, visit academyofimaging.com.